Welcome to the Co-op Action Showcase. Today we are talking about Earth Defense Force 6, an arcade co-op shooter that will pit you and your friends against insane numbers of giant monsters to collect sweet, sweet loot from their corpses, all the while saving humanity. Now how can a modern game that looks and plays like it belongs on the PS3 be any good? Well, let's dive in and you can tell me your thoughts in the comments. As you can tell, this game has a bit of a dated look. Allegedly, there's a technical trade-off here, lowering the visual quality for the amount of destruction and enemies that can fit on screen. Debatable. I think in the current generation, this is more of a style choice, as I do find the lower graphics helps lean the game into its tone of a cheaply made, so bad it's good, sci-fi movie. Let's move on, though, to gameplay. After the painfully slow first level, the game can be a lot of chaotic fun as you and up to three additional players attempt to kill hordes of giant monsters, drones, aliens, and kaiju using one of four classes. The Ranger, your typical soldier with access to various assault rifles, shotguns, rocket launchers, snipers, and a few vehicles that don't control well. The Wing Diver is your high-flying, energy-blasting glass cannon with some interesting area of effect weapons. The Air Raider, this character can make use of drones, orbital lasers, airstrikes, mechs, and more. This one's becoming my personal favorite the more I play. And last but not least, the Fencer, a heavily armored walking tank type that can spread devastation with rockets, gatling guns, or flip the script and become a super quick melee master. All of these characters have their quirks and learning curves, with some curves being harder than others, but definitely worth giving each of them a try. The gameplay loop is simple enough. As you kill monsters, some monsters will drop either armor, weapon, or health pickups. At the end of each level, the armor pickups serve to raise the max health across all the classes by varying amounts. The weapon pickups give each class a chance for new weapons or weapon upgrades. You will continue this loop throughout the 147 levels of the campaign. You can also continue into harder difficulties and you'll still get new gear. There are a number of environments you will fight through, but since the story does this whole time loop thing, there are also a lot of reused levels. And some levels were used from previous games, but the monsters do change up so it maintains a fresh feel even if you play played on the level before. The EDF community is fun and welcoming and a blast to play with. Plenty of randoms you can pair up with, just be ready to use the quick dialogue system to yell EDF every 10 minutes. All units retreat. EDF! The lobby system is also a bit janky and will take a little getting used to. Wouldn't mind some quality of life updates in this area. So just like a cheesy sci-fi movie, this game is an acquired taste with the jank, visual style, and overall tone understandably not appealing to everybody. However, it can be some great mindless fun to kill some time and blow up some baddies on your own with some randoms or with a couple of friends. And if you like this video, then consider subscribing. We have plenty more videos, live streams, and shorts on the way. Bye.